Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a baby blanket and I'm going to be using the Alpine Stitch. So you're going to need, this is the yarn that I'm using, but you can use any yarn. So this is Lion Brand. It's a, a light number three and it says to use a five millimeter hook and the color is Unicorn. Okay, so as well as the yarn, you're going to need a measuring tape, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and I'm using the 5mm hook. Okay, so I want my baby blanket to be about 90 centimeters, which is about 35 inches. So for my chain, I'm going to chain 156. So for the Alpine stitch, you want to do multiples of two. For your chain so first make a slip knot and I'm just going to show you a sample piece okay so you just want to do multiples of two Okay, so I've got 24 there. Um, to make the baby blanket, I just chained 156. Once you have your length, just add one more chain. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to skip the first two. And I'm going to make one double crochet in the third chain. So yarn over. Go into the third chain. Yarn over and pull through. Now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two. Okay, so that chain two counts as your first double crochet, and there's your second one. Okay, so you just want to put one double crochet in each chain all the way down to the end. Okay, so yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over and pull through the last two. So you can make your blanket as, as wide as you like. Okay, so once you reach the end of your chain and you have one double crochet in each chain, to start the next row you want to chain one and turn your work and then you want to put one single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so there's your chain there and you want to put the first one in there. Okay, one single crochet in each stitch.
Okay, so when you're at the end, make sure that you put one single crochet in this first chain two. Okay, to start the next row, we're going to chain two. And then we're going to turn our work. So this chain two counts as our first double crochet. Okay. So we're going to make one double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so now you have two. And then in the next stitch, instead of making a double crochet in the top, we're going to make a front post double crochet. Okay, so there's your first one and your second one that you've done. You want to go behind this third stitch. So yarn over, go in between the second and third stitch, and come out the other side. So you've just gone behind the third double crochet. Yarn over and pull that through. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over and pull through the last two. Okay. So now you want to skip this one. Because that's where the front post double crochet goes. And you want to put a double crochet in the top of the next stitch. Now you want to skip this post and make a front post double crochet in the next one. Okay, hook behind the double crochet, yarn over, pull it through, and just make a double crochet. Yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, and pull through the last two. Okay, so that's the pattern all the way along. So skip one double crochet in the top of the next one okay skip one post front post double crochet in the next one skip one one double crochet in the top of the next one skip one post Front post double crochet in the next one. Okay. So you just do that all the way along. Skip one. One double crochet in the next one. Skip one post. Front post double crochet in the next one. And just do that all the way along. Here's my last stitch. Okay, so once you've done that row, to start the next row, you just want to chain one and turn, and then one single crochet in each stitch until you get back to the start. Okay, 
So start the next row, chain two and turn. Okay, so that's your first double crochet. And now we're going to do the exact same pattern, except we're going to put our front posts not on top of our previous front posts, but in our previous double crochet. So there's your first one, your first stitch. Yarn over and make a front post in the top of this double crochet. Okay, then in the top of this front post, you're going to make one double crochet. Okay, so it's the same pattern where you skip one. You're just alternating where the front post is and where the double crochet is. Okay, so now a front post in, in this double crochet here. A double crochet in the top of this front post so we're skipping that one and a double crochet into there okay front post into this double crochet Skip one and a double crochet in the next one. Front post in this double crochet. Skip one and a double crochet in the next one. Right, so you can see the pattern there. You're just alternating where the front posts go. So you need to do that all the way along. Okay, so for the double crochet rows, I always start and finish on a double crochet, not a front post double crochet. Right, so there's my last one there. Okay, so to start the next row, just remember it's chain one and turn. And then when you get to the end, you chain two and turn to start the double crochet row. Okay, so I'll do one more row. This row is just one single crochet in each stitch. Okay, make sure you Put a single crochet in the top of that chain two. Okay, so that's how the back should look. Chain two and turn. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more row of the double crochets, the alpine stitch. And then I'll come back and show you what the blanket looks like. Okay, one double crochet in this one above the alpine. One 
one front post double crochet into the next one okay so once you've done a few rows it's pretty easy it's a pretty easy stitch to do Okay, so for the next row, just chain one and turn, and then do a row of single crochet. Okay, so I'll just finish my blanket and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so here is how my blanket looks. It's a bit hard to get in the video. Okay. So I ended up using um, four skeins of yarn. Um, and this is how much I have left of my last one. So. Okay, so I've just finished in this corner here. And now I'm just going to work single crochets all the way along. Just nice and even on each side. And the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to come back all the way back to this corner. Uh, in each corner I'm going to put three single crochets. Okay, so I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to put two single crochets in this first stitch. And then I'm just going to go along and put Just single crochet along the edge and I'm going to make sure that I have the same amount of single crochets on this side as I do for the other side over here. Okay so go along and single crochet around. Um, just make sure you put, so I've put two single crochets in this corner. When I come back to the end I'm going to add another one and then just three single crochets in every other corner. Okay. Now that I've single crocheted all the way around the blanket, here are my first two. So I'm just going to put one more in the corner. Okay, next I'm going to slip stitch to the first single crochet. I'm going to chain one. Okay, and then to do the shell, I'm going to skip one, two, and I'm going to work into this third stitch. So yarn over, and you want to make five double crochets all in the same stitch. So that's the one you slip stitched into. Skip one, two, and work into the third one. Okay, once you've done your five double crochets, skip another two, one, two, and make one single crochet in the third stitch. Okay, so there's your first shell. 
so you just want to do that all the way along the blanket skip two five double crochets in the third stitch skip two one single crochet in the third stitch okay skip two five double crochets in the third stitch Skip two, one single crochet in the third stitch. Okay, so you just do that all the way along for your border. Okay, so here's how it looks. And then the last thing you need to do is just knot it off and hide your tails in the back that's what the back looks like okay thank you for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video